Okay. It's very stressful going on vacation, huh? I ain't been on vacation. I do this every week. Oh, yeah, well. But, yeah, it is very stressful going on vacation. I'm stressed because I'm about to leave, and then I'll be stressed when I come back because I know I have a bunch of work to do. You need to chill. You need to learn I, I how know, to chill. I don't know how you to chill. You need to learn how to chill. I've never learned how to chill. I don't know how to chill. Yeah. Chill. You just lean back and chill. Yeah, and just say, you know what? I'm It'll, chilled. It's all going to happen. I'm chilled like, what is the saying that goes with chill? Yeah, you're, you're probably less chilled after watching me do that Jolie. Well, <laughs> I'm going to need to tweak it a bit. Yeah. Hi, Kim. Hi, Allie. Hi, Hi Jimbo. Hi, Allie. Allie, I haven't read Shelly. your email yet, but I saw it. Hi, Hi Sarah. Sarah. Here's Miss Piney. Do you know how they say Sarah in the South? Sarah? Uh-huh. Sarah. Sarah. Well, Sarah. I'm Southern, and I don't say Sarah. Well, in Alabama, they say Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> Michelle. Oh, I forgot Hi, to take Donna. my glasses off. Hi, Wendy, Susan. Everybody's tuning in. Oh, it's hot in Canada? Oh, my goodness. It's hot here. You know, it, hasn't, it wasn't that bad. It no. rained. <laughs> it poured yesterday. I thought the roof was coming in. I know. It sounded so nice. I just wanted to lay on that floor and take a nap back there. But I didn't. No, you didn't. Because it was probably dirty with hair. <laughs> Hi, Sissy. Hi, Shelly. Kim says she's Southern. She's never pronounced like that. Never pronounced like that. Say, bro. Okay. Well, thank you. Hi, Holly. Oh, Holly comes tomorrow. I won't be yes, here, Holly. she does. Miss Kathy, look at all these people. I know. Having a good day. And we started right at 12. Oh, it's 81 degrees in Edmonton. So <gasps> that's a, that's probably really hot to them, though. Well, it's a heat wave. Bless your heart, Donna. I hope it never gets to 105. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Crystal. Hi, Melissa. Did you see Crystal in her Braylon? She looks so pretty. Oh, and she yeah. said she was going to have to tweak her. I told her, I commented she could wear a paper bag and it'd be pretty because she's it just would. pretty. She is. But yeah, the color is great. She's very, very sweet. Holly says you're going to miss a special treat. Well, that's what well, she is. Well, it's my sister and my niece's <laughs> last day here. And so I'm going to spend the day with them tomorrow. Is it already their last day? Yeah, they leave Friday. They've been here three weeks? Fiona's been here three weeks. Valerie's been here two. Oh, my goodness. I I, y'all, time just flies. Time just flies. Oh, Barbara, I'm glad you commented. Uh, Hi, Mae Mae. The... We ran out of the Harry Wear shampoo, and so that's why we haven't mailed it. That's what we figured out after you called. <laughs> but there's, it got delivered today, so your shipment will be going out. So I don't yes. want you to think we forgot about you. Let's just talk about what you're wearing. I have on Cameron by John Renault in large cap in 12 FS8, which is also known as Shaded Praline. You haven't worn that in a while. It used to be your favorite wig. I know. I know. I guess what I'm wearing. You don't want to guess what I'm wearing? Guess. Well, okay, can I say one more thing about my wig? Oh, I guess. I felt like being a straight girl today. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you are, they are never. I am so going funny to let me sometimes. Down. You are just hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. He <laughs> 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 uh, this, this girl. Hi, Jane. Well, who can guess what I'm wearing? Did anybody some, guess? Yeah, something. It just says it's Facebook, a Facebook user. user. Yes, I'm wearing Anima. Mm -hmm. Anima. 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 Whatever you want to call it. It means I'm, soul. I'm going to nickname it the animal. Yeah. Okay. Donna, no, little... my sister does not wear wigs. Anima. 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 Haven't heard that one. Uh, did you say what color? I'm sorry. I just talked no, over I, you. I and didn't. I'm sorry. I just Anima. had to get that last bit off about my hair being straight. Well, I have on nougat tipped. So, um... Melissa, I cannot believe it wasn't cute on you. She, It was cute. She didn't like the color. She said it looked mousy. Oh. I said, I ain't never seen a mouse look that pretty. Yeah. It was this color, I think. No, maybe it was the other color. Anyway, I've nicknamed it the animal because of this whole bang situation. The animal. <sighs> the Facebook group is a gog at over... A gog? Is a, that a word? I don't know. A gog. Like, because of the, the bangs. Yeah. I took a before picture. I just got this wig this morning. I was holding out until Kim got hers, but I just couldn't wait anymore. No, I, I mean I, I'm going on vacation. I may never get mine. 
you were going on vacation when you wanted yours. But this one, nobody has spoken for. We had, actually have three of this color. Yeah, we do. So um, I'm taking it. Anyway, I took a before picture of what I did with the bangs. And let me tell you, the only thing I did to get rid of that split, I, please know, I don't suggest this on every wig. Don't use your hair dryer. But on these that are difficult and stubborn, I use a hair dryer if it's heat defiant. A flat out hair dryer on high. Just point it the direction you want to go. Use your fingers like if it were your own hair. And then I put, of course, a little hairspray. That's it. But we've talked to uh, Ellen Villa about it. And, and they say that they're going to work on some of the R&D part. So hopefully that split won't happen Well, at anymore. first they said they hadn't heard that from anybody. <laughs> I was fuck. being nice. I wasn't going to bring that up. I'll bring it up. <laughs> I mean, I'm not the diplomat here. I'll bring it up. So I went on and was like watching everybody's reviews. Oh, and I was like, oh, I didn't oh, really no. notice it in our unboxing. No, I didn't either until you start trying to wear it, mm -hmm. and then it gets that split. I think we might have said there's a little cold set issue, but it's 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 that mini lace. And, you know, I, I looked at and I sold a wig to a lady yesterday, the Ocean, which also has the mini lace. Oh, and I almost just want to say it did look gorgeous, but I almost want to tell them if you want some feedback from – a stylist that work with your wigs. I just realized I forgot all my rings. Um, that mini lace is kind of, it either needs to be full lace or no lace. Because that's where the problem hits is where that starts to stitch together. Um, so you can work around it. I'm not saying it's a defective product. It's not. It's just it takes a little extra mm, to get it going right. Yeah. So, my, my opinion. I don't think that's what we were talking about today. It is not what we're talking about, but I wanted to address it because everyone's talking about it, and we didn't really address it. Yeah. So I want everybody to be happy. It's still, I still cannot wait to get mine in. It's still a fabulous wig. It is a fabulous wig, and I want a pearl or two, but um, I'm waiting on that one because I don't want to just be Hi, greedy. Lorraine. Oh, that's not Lorraine. Because <laughs> sometimes hers comes up as Jerry. Well, maybe it is. No, she's Robin Ed. Yeah, she's Robin Ed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hope she's not going to watch this and say. Um, Sissy says the metal hot comb on low really helps those issues. Um, you use only HD. Right. Everything we say um, about the heat defiant wigs, when we say use a hot comb or a hair dryer, only on heat defiant. Don't take something like this, this is regular synthetic, or something like Kim is wearing and use a hair dryer or a hot comb. You, disclaimer, read this. Nobody ruin their wigs by using a hair dryer or a, a hot metal comb on your wig. Only heat defined. Deb wants to know if we take appointments for thinning wigs. We, If you do want us to look at your wig and evaluate whether or not we can thin it, yes, you need an appointment. Uh, it's, you know, it's style dependent. It gets a little tricky, so... Uh, we won't really tell you what we will or will not do until we see it, but you will need an appointment for that. Mm -hmm. Karen, no, they did not make this in gray or silver. I don't understand why. Well, but I looked at the new collection. It's coming out tomorrow. New collection? Mm hmm And they came out with new colors, fun colors. And awesome. Especially if you're a redhead. If you're a redhead... They did some really fun redheads. Melissa says she almost ruined her Jones with a flat iron. Oh, Melissa, you live here. You could have come over here. The thing about the flat iron, you're going to watch. I'm telling you, if you watch YouTube, I watch YouTube every single day. You can. I was showing someone yesterday. I'm like, you can literally go through my YouTube, pre, you know, like the, what they're suggesting and know my life. Everything that I do in my life. But you'll see people say, oh, you can use a curling iron. You can use a flat iron. You can do that. Just don't. Just listen to us, please. I mean, if it's heat defiant, yes. If it's not heat defiant, what do we always tell you to use? The Hot Tools Airbrush. Hot Tools Airbrush. So, that is leading us to what we're talking about today. Okay, Donna asked about my blouse. Yes, it's tunic length, so I've got on white leggings with it, so it is definitely long enough. But I got it um, in Old Town Plano. Little, Nobody ever asked about my clothes because I wear black all the time. Little, cute little boutique. I'm Michael Tannery. A cute little boat cue. A boat cue. Yeah, a boat cue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so someone's asking, what about Renee Paris new tool? We're uh, we have never used this. We no. have it in. Uh, did you turn it on? I did. Um, so you know, Alex. Oh, so, okay, so Alexander Turnbull did a video for 
Ren Renee Paris uh, showing this tool, and we watched it. Um, you know, he made a big deal about the packaging. And it it's, is nice. It's nice, but, you know, it's going to go. So it is. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, do you keep those boxes? No. That goes in the recycle bin. Anyway, uh, so we're going to do it a little bit differently than he, oh, Missy's going to do it a little bit differently than he did. Uh, so uh, he had a new wig that he did something to and made yeah. it look really nice. But this wig's. But, and it was straight, too. Yeah, it was I mean, straight. So he also says you can curl with that. I don't know. We're going to try it. Um, but this wig is at least two to three years old. This is for a client. She wears them. Oh, she's got a lot of them. She switches them out, but she tears them up, too. So you can see this side has had nothing but washing done to it. And this just goes to show you we, we style this for her, and she wears them about a week to two weeks, and we wash. So it gets regular washing at least once to two times a month. Um, and you can see from the products that we use and the care that we do it, a wig this old can still look good. Yeah. I mean, this is just with washing. I mean, it looks a whole lot better when we do it. Um, so She pulls hers up in a ponytail, so she's got a clip in it regularly. So, um, you know, that's going to wear the fiber down a little bit more. She does it every day. Uh, so... And I also, there's a video on our YouTube page where I actually did her whole wig with the hot tools airbrush so it talks about how to use that i al always 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 use it in conjunction with the hair you wear restore so i've already done this side but i'm going to show you really quick it's going to get a little loud but i do want to show you what just the airbrush will do the thing about the airbrush is it has to you have to have patience with it so it's plastic it doesn't heat up as fast as metal or ceramic would but it gives you really good options for your synthetic non-heat defiant fibers without ruining them. I don't think you could ever ruin a wig with this. Okay. I mean, maybe you could. I don't know. I don't think so. But what I do is I, I'm a little bit neat, neater about it than I'm going to do here. But just section your wig out. Put it in a block. Section it out. Small sections at a time, just like if it were human hair. <coughs> Excuse me. Spray it with... You restore, get a good good spray on it. Now I'm hoping this is not too loud and you can still talk. So if you can't, then well, I will, yeah, because I want to address a couple of questions. Uh, Holly, we do have the one inch uh, hot tools like airbrushes, and for people that are asking about the heart necklace, uh, if you want it, you need to call. We have one left. I thought it was on the website. I guess it's not, but there's one left. So just call the store and we'll get it for you. Okay, so um, like you can see, I'm just taking my time with it. I always put my hand over it because then I can feel what the heat is doing. You have to have patience. I mean, if people get this and think they're going to just put it in and be done with it in a, a second, you're, it's not going to work. This is not hair. This is acrylic fiber. So you have to, in a sense, heat it up pretty good. I mean, hair heats up faster than this does. So but just keep on with it. How easy is that to do if you don't have a block to do it on your head? Oh, yeah, you can do it right on your head. I mean, in fact, we'll let him demonstrate that in a minute. So just keep heating it up. You know, we're just smoothing it out. And just keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. Especially Diane, if you use steam on your voltage and you wrecked it, I'm not sure. You can wreck it with steam. I'm not sure. It, it, depending on what you did, it, it may not be repairable. So just keep on doing this. So time-wise, this may be longer than the what Renee Paris has. It's on the flat iron, but I just want you to get an idea of the time it's going to take you per section. Something you like fixing here, but once you do it, it's done until you wash it again. But it's also well. I was going to say it's gentler, but we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Okay, so I'm just putting a little bit of curl on the bottom. And you kind of hold it there until it kind of cools down. But you can just see just that right there. See that section? Look, it even has a pretty shine back to it. Um, it feels good. You can run your fingers through it. It's nice and soft. So there's that. So, you know, we can't get enough of these. We love them. So. Okay, they're asking what that tool is. This is it. It's the Hot Tools Blow Brush. Misty's using the one and a half inch. 
barrel and it also comes in a one inch barrel. So for shorter wigs, you use the smaller barrel. For longer wigs, you use the bigger barrel. Yes, they. Um, I use one and a half inch more than I ever use one inch. If you have a wig that's even my length, Kim's length and longer, always use the one and a half. Um, the one inch is really for really short wigs because you'll get a little too much curl. And I, I will say this, I don't know if it has anything to do with the barrel size and how the heat diffuses through there. The one inch does get a little hotter than the one and a half. So if you have a one inch, just gauge it. If When I put it on there and I feel like my hand's getting too hot, I know then that's that's as much heat as that fiber needs to take. Misty's using the hair, hair there's a glare on it, the hair you wear restore. It's, <laughs> it's my absolute favorite. I know you can't see it, but it's hair you wear restore. Absolutely the best product I've ever used, and I, I can't say enough about it. I really okay. can't. Okay, so how much is that? What do we sell that for? 50. Okay. Yeah, 50. Um, we, we always stock these. They went back ordered for a long time. We were actually like scouring even Amazon <laughs> to find them, yeah. um, but they didn't have them either. So we contacted Hot Tools directly, and we're assured it wasn't back ordered, and we finally were able to get them in. Okay, so. Holly, we'll put a one inch aside for you, and Eva will put the necklace aside for you. Someone's already called. Oh, they have? Yeah. So the phone rang as soon as you said you got to call the store. Oh. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's gone. But we'll, <laughs> you said call the store, someone calls. Okay. <laughs> if, Eva, if that's gone, I will call and order another one for you. Okay. All right. These are, the, the blow brushes are stocked. So you can go straight to the website and order them. But just, just wait. You may decide you want the Renee Paris tool. Because we're going to show that now. Yeah. On the other side. Okay, so one thing that uh, Alexander Turnbull, Turnbull pointed out is you can literally hold this. It doesn't get hot enough to burn your hand. The heat is actually inside the comb pieces. He the Renee Paris calls this a flat iron. It looks more like a flat comb, but or I actually a molded comb. printed out their description. Okay. Um, just to see what they say because I don't, we've never used this. This is all new. <laughs> all right. Can you really <laughs> touch it? Yeah, yeah. They don't sell it by the camera. <laughs> I wish they did. They I should do they like did. liter sizes, like back bar, like in the salon. Yeah. Um, there's 27 of these little combs. Lady on the right, which one is that? I don't know. Blonde or dark? Because we're backwards. Uh, Misty has on Anima by Ellen Villa, and I have on Cameron by John Renault. And Cameron is 100% fully hand tied. And I have the large cap on. Okay. I'm assuming that they've determined 240 is the right temperature for non-heat defiant. We're going to see. So and it's I don't not know going to get hot enough to do a heat defiant. Yeah, I don't think so. And I don't know if we need to spray this or if we... He didn't... Did he spray his? Yeah, he did. He did? Um, nougat tipped is my color. Or nougat rooted. Here. Okay, is that better? We turn the light off for here. Yeah. Okay. And so we're gonna try it down here. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Did you get that little brush? No. <laughs> little black brush that you. He said, "Don't you need that little brush?" I think I got sidetracked with breath mints. Okay. So I. Let's just see. I'm just gonna pull this through here. I hope I don't ruin this lady's wig. She's. Is she so? Okay, so it does make it very, very smooth. Do you see that? Yeah. And I was a little skeptical because the wig that he used his demonstration for looked to me like a new wig that it just had some teasing in it, you know? Um, but so we're just like, let's just do this on. Now, the one thing I will say, he says you can curl with this. Let's try. I don't see any curling happening. Let's try. Let's try again. Still don't see any curling happening. I don't know. I don't know that there's no trick to this. I mean, I've used all sorts of tools in my days. I mean, you barely got a bend, but you didn't it's, get. But it's that. got that crimp bend. I don't know how to do that. Oh yeah, that's what I do to my own hair with a flat iron. I get that crimp. Yeah, bend. that's not the look anybody wants. Okay, let's get rid of that crimp. 
Okay, Val wants to know if you can wash a human hair wig with shampoo and conditioner. Many of the wig companies now are formulating their shampoos and conditioners for human hair wigs or synthetic, but you just have to read on the label to see. Okay, Sarah's asking, and yes, this, this Renea Paris Hot Tools is formulated for regular fiber. Not formulated, but I guess regulated temperature-wise for regular fiber, um, which is 240 degrees. I will say this. I don't know. I can't get a curl out of it, so I wouldn't pr I probably use this for a wig like this because I want to get that face framing. Um, but if you have a straight wig, let's try another section. Here, hold this. I want to try another section. We don't make that straight. <laughs> See what I live with. She don't listen. No, I don't. I bet her mama, Mimi, if you're watching. That's what my mom is the same. You. Okay, never mind. I was just playing ball. No, no, play. I was trying to see if you took this and went back this way. I can't even, is my section too big? I don't know. I can't even get it in the. Thing. Yeah, it's, it's. Yeah, this, it's not really easy to use. Unless you're doing it straight. So the blow brush is really easy to use on yourself when you've got your wig on. I don't think that's very easy to use. Let's try it. I'm going to spray a section. <laughs> I'm see. so glad I didn't fall off my chair. I dropped the blow brush. I'm telling you, one pass through will get you a perfectly straight soft wig. Yes, Crystal, you're right. You could use the Renee Paris flat iron to straighten it, and then you can go back with the hot tools. However, the Renee Paris straightener is a hundred dollars so it's twice the price of the hot tool airbrush so you just kind of have to think about what application you're wanting to use it for some people will want both we've already we put it on the website we've already sold some of the renee paris flat iron i think there's a lot of buzz about it because for people that okay. do have straight wigs that are long and tend to fray that i think is going to work great i got a curl out of that one let's see and all i did was heat it up and then I just held it where I wanted it to cool down. So that'll give you a curl. Ryan's making peach pies. What? I love a good peach pie. Yeah. It's the only pie I like because I'm not a pie person. Jan, I am wearing Cameron by John Renault in large cap. And it is color 12 FS8 or shaded praline. Okay. Let's try again. I mean, I'm a hairstylist, y'all. I should be able to. Okay, I can't get that face framing that I want yeah. with that. This is great for straight, mm -hmm. even a straight bob. Well, and I think even like the long ones, when they fray in the back, mm -hmm. I think that's going to be great. Very easy to use. I'm telling you, very easy. Literally put it on, push those teeth in, and pull it straight out. Perfectly straight every time. Nice and soft. And this works good for some of those wigs who peop that people have that they want that look. You know, I, I, people come in all the time and say the length of something like a mil or L by John Renault. They want that shoulder length flat ironed look. And there's not wigs out there that have that look. I think the Ellen Villa has the code mono. And the and then Ch G? Cree. Cree. The Cree, and then also I think Renee Paris has one, um, no one or something like that. But I'm telling you, if you want that look, it's very makes it very modern and kind of choppy. You so, get it with this. So what happens if you do like if you didn't want that thin? Well, let's just try it and you know, just brush it out. Do you have any products? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I was hoping, don't come in. Don't come in this store with products in your hair and expect me to cut it. Well, here, or do it. Here we go. Let's just make one pass through. Well, Pam, Here's I think peppermint is a heat defiant wig, so this isn't going to work on it. Okay. Rachel says one of the other Renee Paris demonstrators used it to get big volume at the crown on shorter layered styles. And somebody, yeah, 
You can straighten it. That's cute. Straight. Now turn the other side. Let's just see the difference. So. So there's this. I mean, you do it all the way around, obviously. Yeah. Versus that. So, so it does make it a little bit longer, a little bit more modern, kind of. Yeah. Let's do another section. Hope you don't mind, ma'am. This is interesting. I, we haven't done a live demonstration in a long time. I mean, ideally, I would have a comb under here, but I didn't bring a comb in here. Wigging out, if you weren't, if you just joined us, no, you cannot curl with it. That's what we just figured out. I can't, can't figure curl. it out. If somebody says they can, then they can. I can watch a demonstration and look, but I can't figure it out. And I don't know how to ever got volume up here, but I will. Oh, we should have brought a heat-defiant wig in here to, just to try on it. Not mine. I just got it. <laughs> um, somebody had that idea. I know, but it, they said it wasn't hot enough for heat to find it. Well, well, I've got we're that. Find out. I've got that. Um, I think it's on my desk. It's unfiltered. Yeah. Okay, hold that, man. Do you want to just put it on? Do you want to do it on my head? Uh, it's harder. Let's just put it right here. No, let's put it on your head. Hi, Vicki from Arkansas. You can tell we're not oh. scripted. Okay, this is unfiltered? Yes. Yes, the temperature remains the same. It only has one setting. You just turn it on with this red button, and it has a little blue, I know you can't see it, but a little blue LCD, LED <laughs> display that says 240. I don't know. We'll see. And Colleen, you're right. Yes, it goes to 240 degrees. It stays there. And I don't know if you can, it doesn't look like you can turn it down, but you certainly can't turn it up. That's no, the max temperature. And it's been on all this time, and they're right, you can still touch it. So it's not going to damage, you know, if you put it on a table or something, so that's good. Yeah. Pam, yes, I use steam and not heat defiant wigs daily. But you got to be careful with it. you got to know what you're doing. Okay, so let's see if 240 degrees is hot enough to get that band out of there. Um, run it through a little bit slower. It worked. Yeah. It did work. And they said you That's couldn't exciting do it. Because the hot tools is this one is really not hot enough to straighten that out. It doesn't get hot enough. So if we want to straighten out a hot a hot a heat defiant, we usually just use a flat iron, but this is an easier tool to use than the flat iron. So much easier. Because when the flat iron you're gonna want to do like the flat iron, the comb and the flat iron and pull it through like this. This, it's all made in one. I'm not coordinated enough to do the flat iron and the comb. I know you're not supposed to use a brush on these, but ma'am, your wig is matted. Well, it's got... <laughs> well, I mean, I've had this wig yeah, it's a an year wig. and a half, and, and I'm not spraying I have any. worn it a lot, and so it is heat defiant. It took a long time for me to fray this, but it did fray. But not bad, band. but not bad little bit of bend still in there so you probably want to run it through a little slower see it's that still got that one piece still has that bend in there let's try it again but I think if you are apprehensive about using a flat iron this is going to be your safest way of working on your heat defiant wig you just have to go slower than a, a flat iron agreed so like somebody yeah. like me that's not a hairstylist that would be my go-to because I know I'm not going to hurt it with a flat iron. You know. That one piece does not want to straighten though, so I'm going to I'm going to really hold it there. I don't know. I may I may wreck it, but it's yours, so it doesn't matter. It's not a client's. <laughs> yeah, because I don't even have my anema yet, and so I don't. You can just ruin one of my other wigs too. Not only do I not get a I wig, promised her, you take away. <laughs> I promised her I wouldn't get one until hers came in. But it's just taking too long. I told her that she, that was dumb. She didn't need to do that. Okay. That one piece still didn't want to get perfectly straight. But, but it's overall, smoother. Yeah, overall it's it works smoother. pretty good. Let's try to do a big chunk. Because sometimes I think sometimes the section size, that'll put a little bit more tension on that top piece. Yeah, that did it. Yeah. Now, it's, now it's all straight. Mm -hmm. Now do a side by side. Turn to the other side. Okay. So yeah, works. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a bust for sure. I mean, it's it's pricey, but I feel like it's one of those tools that 
it's worth the price. I really do. Because, like I said, a lot of you, if you're not used to using flat irons and all this kind of stuff, this this is safe. I mean, it's been on now for 30 minutes, and I'm still able to put my hand there. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I, that would be, that's what I would wait, use. Wait, wait, wait. No, that's good. That's good. That's fine. My verdict. I, you know, I'm going about to give it the Sam's Costco test. I have this thing about Sam's and Costco. You need them both. You do need them both. <laughs> I mean, they I have different it. things. And so I go to Sam's for some things. I go to Costco for some things. Um, yeah, is it a little much to say, okay, uh, I'm a single person and I have two? Yeah, it is. I'm extra. You need them both because this would put your way back in. So let's just go over here. Perfectly straight. So, Karen, the reason why she started on the top here is just to show yeah, an just example. Looking. You would ideally section it out, start at the bottom, and just like a four year. And now everybody wants the, the next question is what are you going to do now that that's straight if I want curl back in it? You just use curling iron. And how you don't go over 280? Yeah, they say generally that I think like 280, 285, something like that. So you need a curling iron with different settings. Always start with the lowest setting you can get away with. But, so this was straight, and I'm just going to go back in with the hot tools yeah jerry i bet it will be great for the nades like that's what i think it's going to be really great at the back especially if you've got length i can't remember who jerry is but she's using her husband's right now. no i know that but i can't remember your name i'm so sorry so. i'm just gonna sometimes when you straighten it out that you can't get that bend back in so i'm just gonna see if it'll work if not paula's gonna have to have a new wig <laughs> it'll work Oh, let's see. I always use Paula's for demonstration purposes. Oh, yeah. All right. So, Allie, you're right. Missy is a genius. <laughs> yeah, now we'll have to have a demonstration of how you put the curl back in it with the curling iron. See, I'm holding my hand on this. It's getting pretty hot. I mean, I'm almost about ready to get it's too hot. To get oh, my hand, but her name is Jerry. Oh, I'm okay, sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. Somebody, somebody told me the other day, if, when I comment, it's the man's name. But I'm sorry. <laughs> it's my husband's account. Hi, hi, Connie. I'm not saying you have a man's name. Sweet Connie. Okay, but anyway, you can see, I got, I got that face framing right back in there with the hot tools, hot airbrush. So, you need them both. Okay, Alana, we just talked about that and uh, how to curl the side of the unfiltered. That would be a curling iron. Yes, and there is a video, it's an old video on our YouTube, but where we did it with the Eve. I actually had my Eve on that was straight, Kim's was straight, and I, I curled it. So you can see how to do it. You have to uh, cold set it. So we'll, we need to do a demonstration of that again because that's been literally like two years ago. Yeah, we too, uh, it, when you curled it, it was super cute. I know. I love my Eve. I wore it out. Yeah. It li I still have it, but it needs to be in the trash. I can't throw my wigs away. It's hard for me too. I, I mean, mean, especially when they're torn up and they're not good for anybody else. And we work around thousands and thousands of wigs every day. Sherry, <laughs> I have not heard if Alva's coming in a large at all. Mm -mm. Hi, Lynn. All right, what else do we have? What else do you want to talk about? Oh, well, I don't know. Carrie, you want to come talk about this? Well, what? This. Not really. Bye, y'all. I'm off to actually go work. They make me work around here. That's kind of the question, like, when your mom says, do you want to? It's not it, a question. Yeah, and you don't say no. It's like... Uh, do you oh. want to do those dishes? If I would have told my no. if I would have told my mom no, I would have got spanked. Yeah. But but I'm so old. Back in the day, it wasn't any, there wasn't anything wrong with spanking people. Oh shoot, no. That's how I turned out so good. I know. Me too. I mean, let me tell you what I did. I can count on one hand the matter the number of spankings I got, and every time I got a spanking, my daddy, being the good daddy he is, would sit down after spanking me. And cry with me, <laughs> and that just tore my heart up. <laughs> and so it just like every time I did it, it got harder for me to, to do something wrong. So I'm an angel and never do anything wrong now. 
<laughs> on that I note. I got spanked a lot. <laughs> on that note, I'm out of here. <laughs> That's because you were naughty. Your dad used to tell us. I know. I know. Okay. Labor Day sale, guys. 30% off everything except for Mimi's exclusives. And the code is LABOR30, and it's going to last through Monday. Um, oh, look at that. So you didn't even get the... There we go. Through Monday, 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time. So get your sale on. Order up. Okay, and if... If uh, what? What'd okay, you do? there we go. Oh. Uh, if you want to know if we have something in stock in the store before you order it, just call us. We'll be happy to help you. You can email us because I know a lot of people don't, they don't want to order something that's back ordered and they don't want to order something that they might get have it. to wait for. So yeah, I get it too. Because when I order, I, I want, want my it stuff now. Yeah, I want my stuff yeah. and I track it and I know what's I don't even like waiting two days. Like you know. I want it when yeah. I want it. So anyway, we'll be happy to help you with that. We've got tons of wigs in stock, but if we don't have the one that you want, then you might not want to order it. So. Yeah, just give us a call. All right, y'all have a great week. Next week, it will be Carrie and I and Marsha. Misty will be in yes. Scotland for the next two weeks, so uh, we'll be happy when she comes back. All I'm going to say is if there's any te technical difficulties, just give us a moment. But we <laughs> but we think we can do this. We so. think we can. We think we can. We're so. gonna, and we're stubborn enough that we will make it work. Yes, we will. Just to prove to Misty that we can. We can. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see you all next week. All right, y'all have a great week.